Greetings from Krishna IVF Clinic. In today's video blog, we'll be discussing what are the common pre-IVF investigations that are done for the woman and the man. In the woman, the common investigations that are done are the hormone tests. These are done to evaluate the status of the hormones like FSH, LH, AMH, progesterone, thyroid. And these requirements depend on whether we are assessing for the ovarian reserves or whether we are assessing the monitoring and we are assessing any reproductive health. The second group of investigation is the ultrasound. The transversal ultrasound is done before the IVF to evaluate the uterus, the ovaries and in the uterus, the size of the uterus, the shape of the uterus, the quality of the uterus lining are assessed and when ultrasound is done for the ovaries, the presence or absence of any cysts and the number of eggs, also known as antral follicle counts, are checked. The third group of investigation that is done in a PIF assessment but not done in every center, which depends on the protocol they follow, is the hysteroscopy. Hysteroscopy is a minimal invasive procedure that is done to assess and visualize the inside of the uterus for any structural abnormalities and the shape of the uterine canal, the size of the uterus, the way the uterus lining looks like and presence of any deviations, polyps or synechia. These are sometimes the cause for the embryo not to implant and hysteroscopy is done to evaluate and to prevent a failure. The other group of investigations that are done are the infection screening. These essentially fall into two groups. One is the mandatory investigations of hepatitis, that is the jaundice causing thing, the human immuno HIV infection screening, and the infection screening disease screening commonly involves hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV. And in a specific test called infection screen is done wherein the doctor or the clinic checks for tuberculosis, human papillomavirus, HSV infection, chlamydia, ureoplasma, microplasma, and tuberculosis. These infections are done specifically if there is a suspicion or there is a previous failure of IVF and these will help to take a precaution to prevent a failure.